Hello, my name is Eka Lokin Yong. I hope you are well and stay safe. This is my website and in my website there's also some information there you can go to have a look. Um, today we are going to talk about, continue to talk about Feng Shui and this is the 17th video. And uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. And if you are first time here, welcome and I uh, hope you like my video and today we are going to talk about water and water is very very important in feng shui because water is wealth and nowadays we cannot live without wealth isn't it so let's do it picture in traditional feng shui um, you know for the feng shui is mainly before for, for burial so they will look for ideal you know ideal places for burial so this is a uh, you know for this it looks like an ideal spot for burial like it has a mountain range coming down this is called a mountain dragon come down and then you have uh, like open up and then there's uh, like uh, they call a dragon dance burial places this is water coming in, water, you know, the, this is called a you know, dragon water coming in and then flow out. To, before we talk about the water mouth, that will be the water mouth. So the dragon, we have the water, we have the dragon, and then is to set the facing, you know, the facing of the house or the facing of the tombstone. So this way, or this way is depends on the incoming dragon this is called the incoming dragon so for the incoming dragon it has to work with the facing the, the facing they have to work together a uh, sitting sorry the sitting and the dragon have to work together and the facing have to work with the water that's why in the classical feng shui text it say uh, the dragon need to harmonize with the facing and facing harmonize with water. Long yu hap hong hong hap soi soi hap san bun gat. So this is the genuine triple harmony feng shui like. Uh, uh, the dragon have to work with the sitting and the facing work with the water. They have to, and then of course the water mouth as well. So this one technique is they call the samha, triple uh, harmony uh, feng shui water formula. However, you know in in the city in the in the in the modern urban living in the city we don't see this format. We only see streets so for street you, you say they are not water but for street that is the chi the energy the chi or the, the moving of the car the, the road the street they consider as water as well so chi you know chi or in chinese they write this chi or this more the correct writing of the chi chi and water like chi wing chi chi wing and and water water sorry no feng shui sorry so what's the difference what's the difference the water and chi actually in the book of burial the you know remember we talk about the book of burial the guo po guo po is like uh, the 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 texts say fu tou zhe hei zi tai you tou si you hei hei zhe shui zi mo you hei si you shui okay what does it mean they say that 
soil, the earth, soil, soil, soil is the body of the chi. So if you go out to the mountain, you see a, a big you know, mountain or a big knoll, a hill, soil, made of soil, that is the body of chi. And then the water is the child of the chi. So when there's a chi, a lot of chi, they would condense, become water. So actually chi is water. However, water is much, you know, accumulate more chi. The chi in the row, you know, see on the row or street, they're moving around, they still have chi. So we consider this is this move as water. So in, in the urban area, the most common thing water will be in this kind of format, like there's a street road, street, you know, a street. Uh, that's one type of water, like water from the left moving to the right. Or other way around, from the right moving to the left. So in, in Cantonese, left to the right, right to the left. So that's one, like the house, let's say the house is here, okay. House is here, like facing that, the street, that's the moving street, okay. That's one form. The second form, the second form is, you. let's say you, we have the house, the water moving this way. Coming in a diagonal, or the water moving from this way. So this is also good. The water come like that side is a bit higher. So water come this way, moving, flowing to the house, toward the house. That's that's very good. Okay. So this is one good water. Then there's another type is that is higher. They move flow out that way, like water flowing out to that way, or flowing out that way. So water flowing out, water flowing out, of course it's no good, like money flowing out. So, so two type. And then maybe the most of the internet you know, articles say the road, if the road going that way, Right around you is very good, and the the road cut you like this, the facing cutting like this. This is uh, uh, like a like a bow, you know, like a shooting an arrow to, to the house. So this is no good. Um, and then there's another kind of water as well. Is you have a house. In the corner, so there's a row, there's a row like that, or you can have a house in the other corner, or you can face this way. Still, that side is uh, moving, or facing this way, that side is moving. So, generally, what is the best configuration of the water format? Of course, we want the water flowing to us gently but not so fast, not so quick. Uh, you may also see some configurations like this, the road, like that's a road, like they call it T, T intersection. Uh, so the road face that way. Is it really bad? Of course, no. It depends how you can manipulate this chi. Sometimes if this chi flowing to you uh, gen, 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 uh, gently, that, that, is, that actually is very good. And then you need to harness this chi. How do you harness it? There's a, a feng shui formula, you know, the, the chi formula we can help to, to have, you know, harness that. So I actually, sometimes I go, Client was very worried, you know, to read some article on the internet and then uh, she called me and asked me to go up to do a feng shui consultation for her house. Her house is actually 
like this. That's on the street. And over the other side, there's a row coming to the toward the house. So, so that's the that's the that's the, the land and the house is like this inside inside there, facing that way. That's uh, north and that's south. So actually, when I get there and check on this, actually the, the chi coming is in the correct sector. Correct sector. That's more important is the correct sector. So I say, you know, after you moving into this house, actually your business and money, wealth is improving. And she said yes. Okay, so confirm one thing. And particularly because the south, south is is horse or horse here like in I say in 2014 2014 2014 is the year is Jiawu okay Jiawu is the young wood young wood young wood horse because facing south is horse so that year make more money because the particular year the chi is stronger However, it has to be correct. If incorrectly coming to the house, then that means that incorrectly they will spend more money. So it's to learn feng shui is to to you know to to make sure to man, to manipulate this energy to to make it good for us. Okay, so that's one case. So that's so don't worry if if sometimes that the row coming to the house if they are in the correct sector actually uh, in the feng shui in the, they will say chong hei lo gong mo ga bo meaning chong mean clash you know activate the good sector precious sector lo gong the, the good sector uh, is priceless um, okay. So the, we see actually quite a lot of this kind of uh, qi house facing and, and uh, like a inward, you know, inward curve, not, not wrapped around, you know, someone wrapped around this inward curve. So if you can see a lot of, you know, in Melbourne, in the court or, or cordyceps, so house facing this way. They actually all facing this um, water, this, you know, like a, a, a blade, a knife cutting. So it's no good. So the water, like the chi, like car come in, they will move out like that. So the chi is here, not moving. But if, if the chi is well, control or well uh, manipulated then it, it will be it will be fine it will be okay but in in uh, in the a lot of people quite worry about that but and also there's another technique as well is how you know how far the the house above the ground is that any steps if too tall we discuss discuss about you know if um, the house is too tall, too high, then the chi will go away. Uh, if it's too low, like this, and this is the row, then the chi will cut to you, cut to the house, like cut the house. So generally, if in a court, if you're looking for houses in a court, then better avoid it, better not to you know, find houses in, in, in a court, is that court. Uh, Okay, so that that is the most common seen, you know, uh, street or water in in the urban living. You may also ask if what is the best configuration. It actually depends on um, facing of the house. For a general guideline, for a general guideline, if you are looking for. Houses. If you're looking for houses to buy, I would suggest I would suggest for the four cardinal direction. 
cardinal direction, we want request re request the water flows from the left to right. So let's say this is the house here. Let's say that's the south direction, south or east or west or north. Okay, so we request the water flow from the left to the right and ideally ideally you know that will be like more houses on the left side meaning the, the left here is a longer chi longer energy flowing through to the house and on the right side here maybe a bit shorter and if you can have a T intersection T intersection or a roundabout then the chi, a lot of chi coming from the left side, and they will stop here, stop here, and all the chi will accumulate in this this house, this house. So that's a very very good um, configuration. Um, I had a client lately in in Adelaide, and I I helped him do the feng shui and he's only two weeks and he's uh, doing quite all right now and then he he referred uh, his sister in Malaysia for me to do a feng shui as well and also they, they very quick you know do what I suggest and they see the very good result and um, because the the guy this guy uh, in Adelaide he asked me what kind of uh, configuration he should look for and I told him this kind of uh, you know, configuration and then he said oh yes when I was in Melbourne my office is similar to that so they're doing very well you know with very good feng shui there so this is one way if on the other way round on the other way round if the four for you know, inter cardinal direction for cardinal in the meaning uh, let's say that is uh, north east south west south east north West. Let's say. Then the water flow direction, the requirement is different. So we want the chi flow from the right to the left. Right to left. Okay. So that means you know there's more houses on this side more we can see a bit longer row on on the right side coming through and on the left side is uh, less houses maybe two three and again can be a rang about there or T intersection so the chi coming in that will all stay here in this sector here and that's a uh, you know a general principle general principle for looking for a house you, you then then you then of course the how itself you know how the configuration of the house is also very important so inside the house where to open the door to capture the energy where should the stove be where should the toilet be you know where should be uh, the even the aircon inlet uh, the fridge because nowadays the fridge is uh, like a appliances washing machine because they spin they're moving they activation they, they activate energy in the past you know they, there's no toilet inside the house or no kitchen inside the house but now with the urban living we have kitchen toilet then if they are in incorrect sector activation definitely they were affecting the health so 
I will talk about later in the internal uh, internal placement. Now this is the outside external. So this is how how the chi should float. One is the uh, cardinal direction. We want left energy flow to the right. And the intercardinal direction, we want the right energy flow to the left. And uh, that is uh, pretty much about this uh, video. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you like my video, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to the video. Thank you. And I see you in a couple of days.